In today's video, I wanna answer the question that I get asked a lot, which is where can I get an all-inclusive recording, editing, uploading, show management workflow piece of software to produce uh, my podcast? There are a lot of tools out there, but you're always going from, you know, maybe let's say Audacity or GarageBand, and you're editing there, you're recording in Zoom, you're transferring files back and forth, and then you go into, let's say, Castos to upload your podcast. We're announcing today a fantastic integration with uh, a piece of software called Alitu. You can find it at alitu.com. I've got the pricing page loaded up here uh, on the screen, $32 a month or $320 for the year if you pay in full. And it's going to do all of this stuff. <laughs> if you're a beginner podcaster, this is a fantastic piece of software. I'll put the caveats uh, right out on the table right now. If you're a seasoned podcaster and you're looking to do much more detailed edits or sound design, or you're recording a podcast that just requires a lot of uh, fine tooth combing through, uh, cleaning up the audio or adding effects, this piece of software isn't going to do it for you. But if you're just getting started and you, you just come to me and you say, hey, I just want one place to do it all, you, you can't beat what Alitu has prepared for you today. So we're gonna take a look at a majority of these features in this video. Uh, there's one which I'm gonna hit right now, but we're not gonna test it on this video, is you can actually connect and make a recording uh, with a group of people right here through Alitu.com. This alone is a nice chunk of savings if you're paying for another recording piece of software, or maybe you don't wanna use Zoom anymore because you just want something that focuses on high quality audio. Uh, or you don't wanna pay for a Squadcast or a Zencaster and add to the bill, because maybe you're just starting out. You record the calls right here with Alitu. You send somebody an invite link, uh, and they get connected to you right through this browser. You have the conversation, you record that audio, and then it saves it right here. So let's take a look at managing a simple edit uh, to a podcast, okay? So on the episode screen, if you have a bunch of episodes that you're, you've already published and that you're working with, you can edit and see a historic view of all of your podcasts. You can see one I have in an edit mode right now. It's indicated by that orange color. And then all the green ones have been finalized and uh, published to, uh, to Castos. We already looked at the record call. Let's skip down to the music editor. We're gonna come back to this in a moment, but you can create voice and you can, or you can create music or choose music. And this is really cool. You know, for folks who ask me how to create an intro, where do I get music? Like you still have to go and get music for this. Um, but the editing part is solved in a real easy way, which I think 90% of podcasters wouldn't mind using. Go to the library and the library is just going to be a list of all the audio files that are up here, whether that's music or podcast episodes or your own single recordings. And then the settings screen, uh, we can do some things by changing just a handful of, of options in the app. Let's go back to the music editor for a moment. And we're gonna choose voice. And you have three major options here. You can upload uh, an audio file that you've already recorded, let's say locally to your computer. You can choose from the library. So if you already have uh, recordings up here. You can pick one from the library or you can record right into your Alitu account a new audio file. Now what's important here with the library and the feature you're about to see is if you're somebody who's going to make new intros well, let's say a sponsorship ad read or you know sort of prefacing the show and sort of giving folks the hook of what's about to happen on a show and you're and you're doing that dynamically for every episode or again that sponsorship read this makes your life really easy <laughs> or if you're if you already have one that you are uh that you repurpose but you just want to switch out maybe the background music for every episode or something like that this makes life so much easier you can just pull it directly from your library okay let's record one and i'm going to show you what i mean how this all pulls together so i'm going to say matt's intro. I'm going to select the correct microphone. Now I'm going to make some pauses and some, uh, some throat clearing and stuff like that. So I'm purposely going to mess up this intro for a second here and then we'll edit it so you can kind of see what that's like. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All 
Okay. You're listening to the Audience Podcast, the best podcast for podcasters, only available at castos.com slash audience. Don't forget to follow our podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Very basic <laughs> podcast intro right there. Um, totally unscripted, of course. It was only a few sentences, but you'll hear the, the throat clear in the okay in a second. So I'm going to hit play. Okay. You're listening to the Audience Podcast, the best podcast for podcasters, only available at castos.com slash audience. Don't forget to follow our podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. So I have the, ch the chance to d immediately download that episode, that, uh, that audio file if I wanted to. I can re-record it. Now remember, I've titled it Matt's Intro, so if I want to just keep that title but say, you know what, now I want to try that again, I can click on re-record, then I can hit save. So it's going to save it. It's going to save it to the background, uh, in the background to the library. And what the music clip maker does, uh, I don't really like the, 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 the title music clip maker, maybe just clip maker. That when you hear music, you think that it's limited to just music, or at least that's what I thought in the beginning. Uh, you can use this for your intros, your outros, for ad reads. It's, it's pretty powerful and, and fun once you start getting into it. So now we have our intro audio and I can choose music or I can edit this. Now remember, I purposely made some errors in the beginning of that. So let's click on edit. And the editing tool was a little weird at first for me. I didn't quite understand it. Uh, but after a few minutes of reading through their docs and understanding how they approached it, um, it's very powerful. It's very powerful for the removal of stuff, of errors, uh, of pauses, of long breaks. You really can't compete with something like, you know, a native tool to your computer, like an Audacity or an Audition. It's nowhere near that. It's not even in the same, it's not even in the same universe <laughs> as those tools. But if you just want to clean up the basics, the chopping of the beginning and the end, and a couple, you know, bad mess ups, it's fantastic. Okay. So I can punch in a little bit. Let me punch in, zoom in. This is our uh, timeline of our wavelength. I'm going to hit play. <clears throat> there's the throat clear. Okay. There's the okay. You're listening to the audience podcast, the best. And then there's the the intro to the actual, uh, well, the intro to the intro. Podcast with for Al podcasters, whoops. with Alitu, you can select large chunks like this. And you can make as many of these as you need along the way. Like I stop talking back here so I can cut that out. And effectively, these areas that I've highlighted indicated by uh, the peppermint sticks, that's the first thing that came to my mind, <laughs> indicated by the red lines, means that when I hit save and process this file, those areas that have been highlighted are going to be removed from the audio file. At first, I was like fiddling around. I'm like, how do I cut this out? No, it's you're, what you're doing here is you're putting these markers in and you're saying, I don't want this, these sections to be in the audio file once I hit process. Uh, and you can stretch, you know, move them around, uh, adjust them, you know, fine tooth comb. Uh, or you can just say, you know what? Uh, I, I messed up. I don't, that, that section can stay. You can just clear it out. But we are going to clear out that beginning and we'll leave that end there. And that's as much as you're going to edit in the, the timeline of your wavelength. You're just going to remove stuff. And again, the real sound engineering, you're not going to get that here, but that's the whole point. Let's hit save. So this is going to process that file. It's going to remove those chunks that we highlighted and compress that file down to the stuff that we want. So let's hit play. You're listening to the audience podcast. The Remember, no throat clear, no me saying, okay, boom plays the, the, the episode right where I edited it down. Now we choose music. Same options. We can upload music. We can pull from our library that's already been uploaded, or we can record. I'm going to go to the library because I already have one. I'm going to use the standard Castos jazz music that we have and hit add. Now, again, people who have been editing podcasts and Audacity Audition avert your eyes <laughs> like you're not going to get the controls and the fine tooth comb stuff but for beginners this is really awesome so watch this so now i can come in and i can say what's the intro length well first let me play let me play so let's hit play on previewing i'm going to say this is going to be matt's greatest intro 
Now let's preview the let's preview the music clip. Again, I don't love the term music clip. I wish it was just called audio clip because um, you're just thinking it's only for music. But this is to stack your audio on top of music. Here we go. You're listening to the Audience Podcast, the best podcast for podcasters, only available at castos.com slash audience. Don't forget to follow our podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Now, you could have probably faintly heard our uh, music track in the background because it was playing right on top of the audio. So, uh, Alitu is just dynamically adjusting the levels of both our uh, spoken track and our music track so that obviously you hear your spoken track much more. But you say, well, I, I want to trail in. I want to hear the music. I want to hear the music dip out. And then I want the music to come back up again before I go into the actual podcast episode. Uh, fret not. That's what this intro length and outro length sections are for. So I can bump this up to, let's say, four seconds, excuse me, and then put the outro to six seconds. Now we'll preview the clip again. You're listening to the Audience Podcast, the best podcast for podcasters, only available at castos.com slash audience. Don't forget to follow our podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. And then that'll play for that outro for six seconds. So no fiddling with uh, in audio editing tools. You're, you're fading things in. You're fading things out. Sure, it's granular. Ah, but for a lot of us, we just want to get this thing done. We want to get it done easily all in one place. So that's it. That's how you make your intro. You bring in your, you uh, fade in your intro or you fade out after four seconds. And then you bring it back uh, on the outro for another six seconds after the audio, ep uh, audio track finishes playing. So it takes a lot of critical thinking out of it. And if you're putting something together fairly basic, it's amazing. So let's go ahead and save the entire thing to the library. It's called Matt's Greatest Intro. Clip created. And that's it. It puts us right back to the music clip maker. So now we want to take that intro and put it onto our actual podcast. So we're going to go to the episodes. We're going to click on Add an Episode. We'll call this... Matt's YouTube demo. Uh, episode two, we'll call it host name Matt. And then episode description will be Matt's YouTube demo track. Save the details. And I can upload my uh, audio episode that I've pre recorded here, or I recorded in the call recorder with my guest. Remember, you can record here in Alitu. Maybe I recorded it with my guests. It's in the library. I can go grab it from the library, uh, or I can upload directly from my computer. Let me grab a sample uh, clip that I already have up here. I'm just going to add this. This is another podcast that I do, so it's going to be a little weird. But you can upload and you can add all this stuff to your podcast, uh, your podcast track if you want. And here's the default view of putting together your podcast. It puts your podcast episode right in the middle. So this is the podcast episode that, that you may have recorded with somebody or recorded locally and uploaded. And then you have your intro music and your outro music, but you can add uh, either of these sections uh, that you want or don't want. So remember, we've already created the intro. Let's add it from the library. So we're going to pull in um, add your music. We're in the library. We're going to grab Matt's greatest intro. We're going to add that. And there's Matt's uh, greatest intro. I can add in a teaser trailer if I wanted to. I kind of, you know, you could do that too. Like if you had audio that you pulled from, um, from the track that you recorded, a lot of podcasts do that where it's like this cold opening. You hear a little bite, a little sample from the uh, bite size sample from the track. You put it in. Uh, I'm going to open it up with Matt's greatest intro. And we'll just play that. This is the intro that we just You're listening made to the audience ago. podcast, the best podcast for pod. And then it's going to go right into playing uh, this track, which is the podcast episode once that's done. And you can add an outro if you wanted to doing the same exact thing. So we're just going to leave it at these two basic settings right here. So that intro and the podcast track. And then we're going to export my episode. So say now creating your episode. Um, check back later. So what this is going to do is it's going to go and stitch everything together, process it in the background, and then we're going to go 
uh, and let that finish and then come right back once that's done processing. Okay, once the episode is done processing, you'll see it show up, a little green indicator, it's here, ready to go. You can go back in and edit the episode if you wanted to. Maybe you did wanna come up with a teaser trailer, you forgot to put your outro, maybe you had a new sponsorship read that you wanna put in, you come right here and you add it, and you just simply re-export it again if you need to make those changes. Uh, but then you can preview and publish it, play the whole episode, uh, and if you'd like, play the whole episode and you'd be off to the races. So you can go back to edit it, you can download the complete version, you can shoot it over to YouTube if you want, um, or you can publish directly to Castos with our new integration. When you go into publish the Castos, it's gonna pick up your Castos shows and then send that out to uh, Castos when you go and hit publish. All you're going to need is your Castos API key, which you can find in your account by logging in uh, to your Castos account going to the integrations page and grabbing that API key. Uh, very simple, you paste it right in and that's all you have to do. You don't have to sign into Castos, you grab that API key when you click on publish to Castos and boom, it shoots it right over to Castos. So let's just see what that looks like. So remember, we're, we're going to select which uh, podcast episode from our account. I'm gonna leave it right here, Podcast Lab by Castos. And I'm gonna actually leave everything, by def uh, everything default and I'm gonna hit publish. Uh, that will take a second. It's going to process it and shoot it over uh, to Castos. Now it says right here, uh, publish to Castos. Little check mark tells you the little time uh, that it was published. And we'll go over to our Castos account. Remember, we publish it to the podcast labs. We'll click on this. And there it is, Matt's YouTube demo. That's the episode that we just processed uh, through Alitu. Immediately shot it over to your Castos account. And it doesn't get any easier than that. I, I know it might seem like a lot in the beginning, but Alitu has a lot of powerful features if you don't want to leave one single place. You can record your episode. You can record your own voice and record a singular episode. You can record meeting online. So send somebody the link. They connect over Alitu. You have the podcast discussion. Save it, record it. It saves it right here. You edit out the chunks you don't like or don't want, you know, the beginnings and the ends. And then you start editing your podcast and putting in the tracks um, for your intro, for your outro. If you wanted to add in, um, you know, another another track here, like a, a, another sponsorship read somewhere in the mix, you could do that as well. It's going to take, you know, a little bit of time, but it's far easier <laughs> than editing in something like an Audacity um, you know, especially if you're just getting started and you don't know how to, you know, manipulate files and move them around and everything like that. Check it out. Alitu.com, 39, 29, 29 dollars, 32, 32 dollars a month. Let's get the price right. 32 dollars a month or 320 for the year. You can do all the stuff listed, uh, at least at the time of this recording right here on this page. Easy integration with Castos, shoots it right off to your Castos account, which goes right out into podcast players when you hit publish. Pretty snazzy, pretty, you know, I like it. I like the simplicity factor. I like that I'm doing it all in one stop shop. And for anybody who's running a fairly basic, fairly standard podcast, it doesn't get any easier or better than this. All right, check it out. Alitude.com, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want more, have questions, leave them in the comments below.